Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about the new iPhone, the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max. Now these are of course amazing devices with amazing new features and enhancements, but there are also some hidden features on the iPhone 14 Pro that I believe every iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max user must know and use on their device. Now, first of all, we're talking about the always on display. We have some pretty cool features here that are actually hidden that you must know about. But before we get into all that, I just wanna ask you guys for a really quick favor. If you're watching the videos on my channel and you're not yet subscribed, please make sure to do so. It really, really helps out a lot. So we're starting with the first one. Like you can turn off the always on display on your iPhone completely if you don't like that feature you can turn it off and the way to do that simply head on to the settings app and then go right here display and brightness and you will find here the switch for always on here's where we can enable or disable this feature now once i got my device it didn't seem really that natural to me having that always on display on the lock screen of my device i am kind of getting used to it but it's really kind of not really natural to me and of course all the other iphone users because we never had this feature but if you like it you can keep it of course if you don't you can go ahead and turn it off from there now here's another really cool new feature of the always on display now the way it works is of course it will dim the screen of your iphone when on the lock screen just like this and of course it will drop the refresh rates that way it won't consume battery but it does also adjust to light i've noticed this you can notice this pretty easy when you're on a darker environment of course it will go darker so it will dim more while on the always on display if you're outside you can notice your iphone will brighten up the screen even though it's on the always on display so the always on display on the iphone 14 pro and 14 pro max adopts the light now here's another lock screen trick that you must know. If you use the always on display, probably you will tap here to wake the screen and then unlock your device. Well, it also works without waking up the device as well. So if you're just right here on the always on display, all you have to do is just swipe up and immediately it will take you to your home screen without having to actually wake the device from the always on display. When your iPhone 14 Pro or 14 Pro Max is on the always on display, it can it will actually turn off the screen completely if you place your iPhone face down or maybe in your pocket. You can notice right here if I just cover the sensors, it will actually dim a lot and then it will just completely turn off. This is really really cool of course, this way your iPhone won't be working in the background while it's in your pocket or facing down on the table or something like that you can see it has completely turned off and once there's a bit of light it will go back to the always on display next up i will show you guys a feature or a trick or whatever you want to call it and that will actually allow you to have the always on display that we expected apple to release i'm pretty sure none of you guys not me expected apple to release this kind of always on display what they did here is really interesting and of course you have the always on display but you still have a wallpaper there it just dims the wallpaper it's really interesting it's not the always on display that we expected to get of course just a simple black screen with all the elements right there at the top but you can actually still get that on iOS 16, of course, with the new iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. Here's the trick. Head on to your settings, go to focus, and under focus, tap the plus button to create a new focus. So tap on custom right there, enter a name here. Tap next, tap on customize focus. And what you need to do here is just go to choose people and just tap on this just to enable an option here so just do that don't add any people don't add any apps don't add anything here so of course it won't have any impact on your device whatsoever the only thing you need to do is go to options here and make sure you disable this and you enable dim lock screen once you have done that then this focus will enable that always on display so you go to focus right here Let's find the one we just created. Here we have it. And now you can see once I go to the lock screen, there we have it. This option will actually dim the lock screen way more. So it's 
all black but interestingly enough it won't dim of course the clock here and the date and you will have a black screen on the lock screen and of course have right there all your elements once you tap on it of course it will wake up and you can just go to your home screen here is another cool feature that you can enable on your iPhone 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max that of course none of the devices have. You can now actually have a sound on your device when it turns off or turns on. The way you enable that, go to settings under accessibility, head on right here to audio and visuals and you will find here power on and off sounds. You enable this and every time you power on or you power off your device, you will have a sound just like you get on your MacBook. Next up, we're talking about the dynamic island. Now, this is really interesting. The way Apple has done this is really interesting. Now, what I'm saying here is that this like a pill shape right here is actually separated into two pieces. You will have a circle there and then a smaller pill. If you just put your iPhone on the sun, on the light of the sun, you will notice actually that there are two pieces and that black part right there is all basically screen. So it's software. So what you can do here is of course, tap to actually work on the dynamic island right there. But if you also tap where there are cameras, it also works. It's really interesting. So even though that, that's not part of the screen, that's just the glass, of course, and the camera behind it, it still works. Even if you tap on the camera, it still works. It's really amazing how Apple has done this. Another great feature of the Dynamic Island is that it actually supports multiple apps. So right here, I'm on Spotify, listen to music. I can go ahead and start maybe a timer. And you can see I can have two apps on the Dynamic Island. Right there, I have one and I have the other one you can see you have two different apps on the dynamic island, even though, of course, not many apps support it right now. If you're using something like a timer or a music app, it will work on both of them. You can see how it separates them. You have a smaller one and then the bigger one right here is really, really cool. Another two things that the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max have are two sensors for the auto brightness. Now this will make auto brightness work way better than the previous iPhones. Now it has two different sensors and this is really, really useful. Now I suggest all my users to actually do this all the time. Always make sure that you actually enable all the auto brightness feature. It will save a ton of battery and it will be way better for your eyes. So head on to your settings under accessibility, display and text size. Always make sure you have right here display auto auto brightness enabled for your display even though i don't have it here of course it's for the video but you need to actually enable it all the time and now with the two sensors for auto brightness it will even work better and last but not least we're talking about the flashlight now, the flashlight on the iphone 14 pro and the 14 pro max have a really cool new feature you've noticed that when you take photos with a flash on an iphone or other devices sometimes it's just too bright and the photo won't look that good well apple has actually introduced a flashlight that had that like more amber color that actually looked more natural but now with the new iphones we have another really cool feature the flashlight will automatically adjust its strength based on the distance from the subject that way it will just flash as much as it needs to get the photo bright, but not all the way up. So it re looks really, really bright and it will just destroy the picture. This is an amazing feature. Make sure you try it out. Take a photo with a flash on at night and it will look amazing. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and these cool new features of the new iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max. If you want to see more videos on the iPhones and iOS 16, of course, make sure to subscribe. And don't forget to leave a like on this video as it helps out a lot. I'll see you on the next one.